something? Yeah, I was looking down. I, I don't like to do that, but you know, you got the big screen right there looking at me, and I can't, you know, that, that human curiosity. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, as you're in fact, talking about human, or well, before talking about human beings, nice top, you'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, true. Sure. Yeah. Belongs to my fraternity brother in New York, Professor James Kanye. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing it. Why? Because I can. He's my fraternity brother. He's my brother. I can wear anything he wants. He can't do nothing about it. Plus, he's sitting all the way in New York. He and I am in South Africa. Mm -hmm. but, but you know what I have to talk because what happened, you know, my wife is, uh, is making another, you know, a top. So she has to have his top so she can get the measurements because she does that kind of thing like that. And, oh, and I know that she owes you a top. So I guess you're going to get a top pretty soon. You know, so everybody's going to be happy. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'd appreciate it too because, you know, there's pressure on me. I'm mad in the middle, you know, like that. But, you know, speaking about the uh, fraternity brothers and stuff like that, you know, family. Yeah. Let's talk about the family of man. You know, no black people these days, we're in, a, we're in a situation, as we say. And here's the situation. Um, I'm defining the situation. It's like this. As a human being, I think the evolution of humankind is supposed to be such that at a certain point, you know, uh, uh, well, you know you're procreating or you're, you're, you have liaisons with anybody on the planet. But we don't have that, uh, I'm being delicate about it, you know, the language and all this stuff. But we don't have that happening here because as black people, we're in a situation where we sort of have to uh, make sure that we, we propagate, procreate, whatever have you, uh, advance. The species has to keep on going, that's what I'm trying to say. And what happens is in this day and age, even though as a human being you should be able to be with anybody, and I think the human condition is supposed to be as the planet, you know, does whatever the planet does, we're all supposed to, you know, so at some particular point, you know, we, you should be with anybody. But we can't, because black people are under assault. So you can't really be with anybody because because there's all sorts of uh, things that happen because people are saying like, hey, you know, you gotta stay with the with the race, you know, the black race, you know, because you know we're under assault, and so we got to create warriors and, and black women are suffering because they don't have men, you know, enough men to go around and all this other stuff. But the reason why that is is because well, people, the circumstance, we're killing each other. Well. We're being killed and we're killing each other. The people don't seem to want to be human. They want to be... A, it's a mess. So we can't be human. I mean, when I say human, the evolution of mankind, because we have to stay in our category, our racial categories, because we're, we're at war. We're at war. And you can't just, you know, you're, you're part of this, the, the, I say the troops, and you can't just leave the troops because, you know, you fall in love. <laughs> Something like that. At least that's the way some people see it. Anyway, I think it's a problem. Maybe it isn't a problem. Maybe some people say, I'm human, I don't care. You know, I don't care about war, I don't care about nothing. Maybe that's the way it is, I don't know. Anyway, just, this has been one of those dispatches from the Arts Director of Murder. So that would be on me, on T, from the Patterson's Taking the Train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm -hmm.